Welcome to Solex Academy Tech Talk Channel. Good morning and welcome to Solax. My name is Emma and I'm the training manager here. Today we're going to introduce you to the X3 hybrid inverter. This is used in commercial and industrial applications. So we normally have some errors if you're installed on your first install. So we're going to go through these. As you can see, we've connected all of our cables up. We've got AC, we've got CTs and we've got PV. But as you can see, the screen is blank. So we're going to discover why. Firstly, we'll check our AC connections. We'll use our appropriate AC tester. And we're going to check between live and neutral. So black is our neutral, red is our live. And we're going to go L1 brown. And as you can see, we have 238 volts. We're going to check L2, which is black. We have 240 volts. Then we're going to check L3, which should be gray. And that is 240 volts, 239. Then we're going to check between each of the lines, so for line voltage. This is to verify that we have a three-phase system. So we're going to go L1 brown to L2 black. And we have 413 volts. We'll go L1 to L3, which is brown and grey. And we have 414 volts. And we'll go L2 black to L3 grey. And again, we have 216 volts. So this proves we have a three-phase system. So this isn't the reason why the screen is blank. Next, we'll check our CTs. So the CTs, we have three ports underneath. We have comms port, BMS port, and meter CT port. So we can see that the CTs are in the wrong port. When they are placed in COM port, they cause a short circuit across the board, which causes the screen to go blank. So as you can see, we'll unplug and put in two meter CT. And our screen will start. So now we are in waiting mode. We now need to discover why we are in waiting mode. So next we will check our other connection. So we have the PV. Underneath our inverter, you can see there's a DC switch for the D model. So we shall turn the DC switch on and we shall wait five seconds. And as you can see, we're still stuck in waiting mode. So we're now going to check our PV. We'll turn off the DC isolator. We'll get our blue unplug tool. So we have positive and negative MC4s. We'll get our appropriate DC tester and make sure it is on DC. Negative is black, positive is red. So we shall put these into the appropriate connectors. And as you can see, we have minus 99.7 volts. This means that the DC MC4s are the wrong way round. So we need to swap these cables around. Also, 99.7 volts is not enough to power up the X3 hybrid inverter. We need 180 volts DC. So we need to wait for either the panels to increase, more sunshine, or we need to add more panels to the roof. So now we're going to change these cables around. A few moments later, we have now changed our connections around. So we have male and female, red, positive into the male connector, black, negative into the female connector. And as you can see, we now have 219.67 volts. So this means we have enough power to power up the X3 hybrid inverter. So we should connect these in, male, female and we shall turn on the DC isolator. We'll wait a couple of seconds and we enter into checking mode. Inverter is counting down. Now 
and normal mode, but we need to verify that the safety code has been set. So we shall enter into the settings and your installer password is 2014. So we press enter, two, zero, one, four, advanced settings, safety code. For the UK, it is G99 because we are over 3.68. However, this is, will be an international video. So verify your country code is right for your inverter. We'll come back out of the settings. And as you can see, we have installed our X3 hybrid correctly and we are producing 1979 watts. So that's basically 1.9 kilowatts. Thank you very much for watching and we hope to see you soon on our next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.